I found myself up to my neck in the war before I knew it, before I saw it coming. I was never much for politics. The rivalries between the water guilds was something that didn't concern me. I was a teenager, and I had my own set of problems. Thinking back, I was a pretty carefree kid living a good life. My friends and I got together to talk and do nothing most every night. And then one morning, the soldiers came to take me away, me and a lot of other guys from the neighborhood, to defend the guild. I think I was actually proud at first. They gave me a uniform and a gun. And then I understood. Up close, war doesn't make you a hero. It makes you tired. It's nothing more than bloody marches. Blistering days, men stacked up against each other in sweaty trenches, stinking, covered in lice. So exhausted we can't sleep, shaking from the thought of what the next night will bring. The night, infernal marches, tramping through blood and shit. Herded like cattle by overzealous officers, sending wave after wave of idiots like me, off to get butchered, screaming at us like it was all our fault. Stupid kids who shit themselves at the first sight of a blade and cried like babies when ordered back to the front. It could have gone on like that until I ended up face down in the dirt, but I was one of the lucky ones, captured and stuck in a wagon full of guys I barely knew. They rounded us up and tossed us in a cattle car, packed in like mutants, and sent us far away behind enemy lines. I don't know if it's night or day. I completely lost track of time. Nothing really mattered to me anymore. You are now in Camp 19. If you watch your step, we will get along just fine. Prisoners to Camp 19. Get off the train and stand in line. They shoved us out, lined us up, and welcomed us to our new home. You're about to meet the sand pit. I want every one of you clean within the hour. You will then be taken to the registration office. You will inform them of what you know how to do, and you will be assigned a post and a bunk. Now, get going. Full out. A new day. At least we got a chance to clean ourselves up, even if all we had was sand. Get a load of this, fellas. Fresh meat. Uh, it just makes my day. I was getting tired of drilling the same old asses. Hey, you're not bad looking either. Get out. Yeah, you got a real pretty mouth. <laughs> What do you want? 
not. Kaggle your tongue. What are you, special? Is that it? Huh? You a nutcase? Maybe you get off watching. Go take a seat. After all, this is the only entertainment you'll get in here. <laughs> Isn't that right, guys? Don't stop yakking, will ya? Spit it out, you got something to say. What's that? Speak up. Nobody can understand your squeaking, boy. We want to find you, we will. This place ain't big enough to hide from us. You crazy. You need to be put down. Uh, huh. Are you insane? You looking for pain? You mental? Fucked in the head? Nah, nah, I don't need this. You're already dead. Sick fuck. Just think about what you're gonna do to this poor bitch. Brings a tear to my eye. I, I just can't watch. I'm sensitive. Forget it, guys. This cunt's not normal. I don't want to catch what he's got. Hey, uh, thanks. Thanks for the help. It's history. Forget it. I wasn't gonna just stand here and watch him. How are you doing? Better. It's weird. I, I feel better than I have in a while. Thanks again. I told you to forget it. You still in shock or what? Listen, if you're feeling better, let's get moving. You're an easy mark here. We gotta go. I'm good. I'll follow you. Shit, this stuff is finished. I'll never be able to fix it here. And they'll never change it. Aw, oh, fuck me. Hey, hey, I'm working. I'm not here to shoot the shit. You just seem to be spinning your wheels is all. Shit, this camp's a ruin. I don't have what I need to repair the thermal conductors or the sand pump. And I need something to tighten these bolts. And of course, my wrench is broken. I'm keeping busy, though. I can always unblock the sand extractor. I'm not too busy just now. Can I give you a hand? Looking for something in exchange, I guess? <laughs> if you can dig up some parts and a wrench, I'll be grateful. But I already took everything in the stock, and I got no idea where to look now. What exactly do you need? I need two resistors, three bits of sheet metal, and a number nine wrench. I'll get that for you. If you can do that, man. Pretty much a wasteland equipment-wise round here. <laughs> Why help the mechanic? I mean, even if he seems all right, he's still an enemy. Yeah, true, but I think it could be useful for us to get on his good side. He could give us equipment or serum.
<laughs> Did you have fun? I hope she's still wet, because I'm gonna ride her hard. Been waiting for you. Me and the guys decided that we didn't appreciate your attitude. You may be crazy, but even if you're too fucked up to know when to open your mouth, we've decided we'll show you how to close it. Right, time to teach you some manners, darling. Live and learn. or what? Take these wrecks to the infirmary. They nearly got killed. <laughs> it's the same thing. Every time we get new arrivals, always gets them excited. Some days I wish I was at the front. You... You, you could have killed them. What do you think those bastards would have done to us if it had been our faces buried in the sand? You gotta do what it takes. By the way, name's Roy, and yours? My name's Innocence. Roy? Aren't you from Aurora? Afraid so. They called me Temperance back then, but I chose Roy. Those virtue names aren't really my thing. Oh, okay. I guess Temperance doesn't fit. Yeah, let's go to the mess hall. We need to find a place where we can talk. Okay, I'm right behind you. Hey, Roy, just wanted to tell you, everyone's talking about how you took out the fat guy. He was embarrassing the entire Aurora army. Here, take this. A little thank you. Huh, thanks.
guess he wants to talk to me about the fat guy. Thanks for the info. Strange. Looks rabid. Hmm. I'll have to talk to the kennel master. Thanks for helping out, Roy. We'll take over now. Sorry. The dog attacked you, really? I don't understand. Usually the guy that takes care of them trains them really well before letting them go. And by the way, I heard you kicked ass with that fat guy and his gang. It's true. And to be honest, he got off easy. You know, even if my comrades had to get involved, I really think most of them are glad you did what you did. I know that even with you people, this guy would have ended up in front of a firing squad. But here you're prisoners of war. And playing cop, not your role really. Even if that guy is a real bastard who should have never been in the army. If I understand right, you're happy, but you think you've got to preach to him. You know what that fat bastard wanted to do to me, right? I know. But it's our responsibility. None of you guys were gonna get involved and stop the fat guy from raping the kid. You can't stick a guard behind everyone. There aren't enough of us. Too many prisoners. Theoretically, we shouldn't have this kind of situation here. Just grunts. You should have come gotten us. Yeah, right. Well, the kid wouldn't have been innocent anymore by the time I'd gone for help. Let that fat bastard come back, and trust me, it'll only take a second before I put him down again. Yeah. No point playing tough with me. That'd just make me feel like taking a couple things out on you. See? Don't worry. I'm in no hurry to see you again. We're leaving. Right. But I'm keeping an eye on you. Shit disturbers like you. I don't trust you any further than I can spit you. <laughs> 